Good morning, everyone. Today we're out at Yosemite Valley National Park, and I've turned the camera around so you can't see me, so you can see this amazing landscape. Um, so Yosemite is part of the Sierra Nevada mountains, which this is pretty interesting to me. Um, these are not tectonic mountains per se as a continental, continental or continental ocean collision. This is what you're looking at, a batholith. So this whole area, which is much bigger than what you're seeing in this picture, um, was once hot magma, right, beneath Earth's surface. So back during the Jurassic, um, we had a plate that was subducting off the Pacific coast, and in place it put an immense amount of magma. This is not the only batholith um, that was put in place. There was um, quite a few, the Idaho batholith and the coast range, which goes all up um, the, the Canadian western seaboard. Um, but this was all once magma. So most of the rock that you can see throughout this whole area is granite. Um, there's a history of quite a lot of magmatic intrusions. So in some area we have granite, some areas we have uh, granite diorite. But in any event, this is mostly all granite. And what you see, see point right here straight ahead, um, that is half dome. Um, and half dome uh, was never a full dome. It was once always, always half. But this is just magma. So when magma forms, you're not going to get a nice bubble. Remember, magma is a liquid. So it's going to go up through any crack and fissure it can. So here we can see where the magma kind of went up into a crack right, and formed this area. Now, you might say, why does, right? well, if it's going to form all, into all these cracks and fissures, why do we see all of these rounded edges right on the side? Well, that's due to gravity. So what these domes do is called, which I think is kind of a hilarious term, is called exfoliation. So gravity is constantly pulling down on the top of this. And in a later video, um, I'll get to a point to show you some exfoliation joints, but it's gonna, it's gonna crack. And what's gonna happen is as it cracks, it's gonna slide downwards. So that's what's gonna give it this nice smooth shape. Another thing that's given this area a nice smooth shape is glaciation. There has been an immense amount of glaciation much later in time through this area. So as this batholith formed, it cooled about two miles below the ground. Later in time, um, as we continue to get mountain growth in the Cordillera, this area was uplifted. All of two miles worth of sediment was eroded off. The whole batholith kind of tipped up a little bit in exposing it. And as, of course, as glaciers work through the area, you can see right, it has really carved a lot of this out. Another spectacular feature, which let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit, are the waterfalls. The waterfalls are just amazing here. And of course the water is coming from the snow melt, right, that you can see up here. Um, today it's, it's pretty smoky um, from the wildfires that are burning out, so you can't really see the snow-capped tops. But if you could see, I see these mountains way off in the distance, a lot of those still have snow tops. And as that snow melts, right, you're going to get these huge waterfalls. Um, this is the, the upper fall here is the Nevada Fall, the lower fall is the Vernal Fall. Um, but there's another waterfall which I think is impressive in this park, which is the Yosemite Waterfall. And in the Yosemite Fall, there's enough water that comes over there that if you equate it, basically every second it's like two cars driving off of the waterfall and pounding into the rocks every two seconds. But what's impressive is that if you if you take a look back here, you notice that it hasn't really eroded that V cut into these rocks very well, even though these, this water's been pouring over the edge for thousands of years. And that just definitely goes to show you the durability of granite. So hopefully this is a nice sweeping view um, of Yosemite and the, bat, the cool batholith for you. Like I said, I'll try to get to a later video um, to see if I can find a spot for some great exfoliation domes. So until next time.